All right. It also might be back here. Oh, there's water there. I think it's here. Hey, what's up, Eternal? How you doing? I'm using one-handed weapons, right? Light armor? I am. Okay, cool. Why am I red? Oh, it's the vampiric ring I'm wearing. Sick! I'm going hippity hops. Baka. Yep. When we get to the alchemist shack, we should hang a left. Although I can just go into the alchemist shack. Maybe I should do that. Hey, John. Yeah, fights are going to take a little longer now. But that's okay. I'll level up a little faster. How did I get over the fence? Nothing under the bed. Excuse me? I thought there was a road there. There is... There's a road back here. It appears that there's a road here, kind of. But it also kind of says there's no road here. Hmm. <clears throat> Here's a question I've never really gotten answered, because I can't ever figure it out. Do you level up skills faster when they're lower levels? So, like... I'm like in the 20s or 30s of of um, one-handed and light armor and block and stuff. Um, do those level up faster than if I was wearing like eight, like heavy armor and I was in my 90s? Does that take longer? See, that's what I thought. Hey, fellas. Stop, Stop that. that! I guess that's also why they let you... 
go legendary on some of your skills once you hit 100. Because it resets them back to 15, I think. So that it... It resets it back to 15 so that you can continue to level up at a decent clip. But, um... Uh, but you keep all your perks. I think it would be nice to try to get every, at least all of the weapons and armor up to 100. And then I'll go back and legendary out heavy and two-handed. So that I can, uh, keep rolling with those, because I really like those. Hmm. <laughs> there? Oh, I'm, I'm drawing his life force. I gotta watch out for this vampiric ring because it apparently activates even if they're not an enemy. Is that a, what the hell is that on top? Is that a giant centurion? It doesn't have the icon of a dwarven ruin, but it's definitely some kind of ruin. Hey mom, how are you? Tell your knee it better straighten out or I'm gonna kick it. That's what it needs, right? Feels like someone already did that. That sucks. Is it your knee that you're gonna make a robot later? You gonna get yourself a robot knee? Arcwind Point. No, that's a dragon. Yeah, no, I saw it. Thank you. Ow! Rude! Jerk. Stop moving. Where the hell is he going?
Fur baby's got haircuts. I need pics. Take pictures, put it in cute. I gotta see them haircuts. Okay, this does not give me the same amount of level experience every time I level up. Like, I'm leveling up light armor and one-handed weapons, and my leveling experience is barely moving. So it does look like higher levels give you more experience. Well, it is lower level. Yeah, but you just said, you just said earlier that it gives you the same amount of experience. And it, it definitely doesn't do that. Because <laughs> I've leveled up like six or seven times and my XP's barely moved. If I leveled up once or twice on the other one, it would have moved a lot more. I think, I think I'm gonna go back <laughs> and put heavy armor and two-handed weapon. Because I, I am getting torn up. My plentiful healings are down by like 20. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with heavy and two-handed. Sorry, Lydia. Wasn't thinking. Yeah, I am getting, I am getting destroyed. 
over here. Let's go see if I can at least find this place. Like, I expected to... I obviously expected <clears throat> to take more damage and do less outgoing damage. Because I'm lower level light armor and single-handed weapons. Um, but I also expected my leveling to to show up a lot more frequently. And it is it's showing up much less frequently. I guess it figures you're going to be leveling up um, light armor, one-handed block, archery, sneak, restoration magic, all at the same time. Um, because you're going to need it. <laughs> and... Uh, and it's just, it's not giving me like real, real game levels fast enough to compensate for the, the pain in the ass. I'll probably do it, like, not when I'm doing hard missions. Like, I'll be doing easy quests that are just like, go kill the bandit leader. Then I'll do that. I'm getting beaten up? Yeah, dude. I'm getting tore up from the floor up. Which one can I reset? Two-handed. I go legendary. Making a skill legendary will set it to 15 and return its perks. No. Wait, return its perks? So does that mean I get all the perk points and can spend them how I want? Or does that mean it resets my perk points to zero? It refunds them. So I, in theory, could spend them in light armor... I get the perk points that I spent back, and then I'd have to spend them again in two-handed to level it back up again. So it's basically resetting your two-handed to you suck at two-handed. And then you level it up again. Hmm. I thought I got to keep my perks. Interesting. I guess it's... You don't keep the perks, just the points. So I can... But yeah, but... So I would then suck in two-handed again, and I'd have to re-level it back up. I guess it would enable me to spend those points in one-handed and block and light armor so that they don't suck quite as much yes I would suck it two-handed huh do you level past 100 at all you don't do you 100 is the max Good for leveling to higher levels without leveling up all the skills. 
I just jumped and it gave me a level. Tell Cappy the cute doggies are in Discord. Okay. Just what we city folk barging in probably looking for an offering to their precious divines oh, good this is skyrim and we should honor the old ways these foreigners don't even respect their own gods much less kind in their sacred around. trials oh, oh my god Hopper does look like a rat. Yeah, he looks like a little rat. And looking as sweet as ever. Trixie looks so adorable. Aww. That's so cute. I'm a floating head today? Yeah, man. It's an old Nord tradition, a test to prove your worth in the eyes of kind. Show that you're a hunter and no simple butcher. Kind teaches us to respect the beasts and blesses the hunter who will face their champions. True Nord hunters are those who survive the trials. Do you think you're strong enough for Kind's blessing? I would be glad to pass this tradition down. You must defeat guardian beasts blessed by kind. I will anoint you with the symbol of the wolf, the crab, and the skeever. This will compel the guardian to appear when you reach his lair. Here's where you need to go. Grandson. He's a strong lad. His parents were at Helgen when... Well, you know. Well, I can't say I was a great father the first time around. Now that he's here, it's like a second chance. He's a good lad. Until next time. I hmm? It ain't so bad. I miss living with my parents back in Helgen, though. Froki can't cook, and there's nobody to talk to up here. Yeah, but don't say anything about it to Froki. I don't think he understands. Froki won't let me hunt on my own yet, but he never shuts up about killing his first stag when he was 11. Bye. Okay, interesting. Oh, don't get me wrong. I want to level. I just don't know. There's a difference between leveling skills and leveling your character. And I'm leveling my skills very quickly, but my character's level is... The experience to my character level is reduced... Probably because the skill level is lower. And I thought... I thought the skill increase to character level experience was even across the board, regardless of what skill level you were upgrading. But apparently, it's it also scales with the skill... with the level of the skill. Oh god, that is so fucking complicated. It's complicated to say. It's simple to understand once you, like, think about it, but to have it explained to somebody, you're like, wait, what? Words don't make sense. Oh, I forgot. I should not jump. I'm so used to jumping with heavy armor. I still don't know where this dang... This dang old... Uh... Where am I 
I supposed to go? Patria. Okay. So there's a big lake, which is this one, and then a small lake, and it says it's south of there. Not a Vonchenzel. Is it south of this one? Like here. Right? Straight south of the island, basically. Uh, just a little south of the island. And a, and a tiny bit to the west. Like, more like, more like there. What? Yeah, I think I would like it more if I was leveling two-handed. I'll play this a little bit and see how it goes. Yeah, you're going to level your weapons and your armor very fast. And and I I I think there's confusion. I'm, when I say I want to level quickly, I mean my character's a level that gets me sk uh, skill perks, not leveling up the actual skill. Leveling up the skill is handy. But leveling up the perk is much more useful. Leveling up my leveling to get a perk is much more useful. Because then I can, I can put a skill point. Yeah, I I feel like there's a lot a lack of communication between me and chat. I don't want I don't necessarily want to level skills faster. I want to level my character faster. Different thing. And I get that I need to level skills to level my character, it's just the... That's weird. You made it! And you brought the shards! Anyway. Look at the device here. The gear in the center is just about the right size. Try putting the shards in and we'll see what happens. Okay, cool. Regardless, we're gonna... Yeah, it's just a bit tedious that, like, low, lowing... 
Hold on. I don't think I did this. All right, Trika, I'm gonna stab you in the dick. <laughs> had to be the most. I love you, Trika, and I respect you as a dude. But that had to be the most useless statement I have ever heard. You can level skills just by doing what the skill is for. Well, oh, really? Bro, come on, man! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dumb, but I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that took longer than usual. How deep are we? Gross. Troll successful? Yeah, play it off as trolling. And not that you didn't understand that I knew it. Like, yeah, that's what it was. I was trolling. Hello, hello, well. Question mark? I often wonder where we'd be if the Dwemer were still around. Oh. Psh. Anyway, we're gonna try single-handed with, um... With a light armor for a little while. See how it goes. Maybe as I get into, like, the 50s and stuff, it'll start, like, buffing me out and giving me more levels. Sure you did. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like that. I get the feeling I'm gonna get my ass kicked in here though. Honestly, do not think I did this. All right, so let me look at like one-handed. One-handed's at forty-five, right? Wait, what? Unblocked attacks with a dagger deal an additional one point of bleed for 30 seconds to living targets. This affects stacks. Oh my god, that would be vicious. Dual wielding is 20% faster. Why did I switch to a swords? Because I wanted to level up one-handed. Furious strength. Power attacks with one-handed weapons is increased by 15%. And perform a one-handed sprinting power attack that deals 50% more damage and critical damage to a target above half health. Wait, what? When wielding a one-handed weapon and an empty other hand, attacking with the weapon while the opponent is winding up their attack or drawing a bow deals 40% more damage and delivers a crit strike. Oh my god. Whenever you perform a total of eight or more one-handed regular strikes in combat, my next one-handed power attack is a thundering blow that deals double damage, costs no stamina, and resets the counter. After a thundering blow, attack speed is increased by 75%. Oh, 
Oh my god, one-handed is vicious. Crosscut, unblocked regular attacks with a sword. Deal the damage of your power attack against the target by 25... Wait, what? Oh, increase, sorry. Forward power attacks with the sword cause the target to bleed for 20 seconds. Hey, what's up, bird keeper? Sideways power attacks. Repeated standing power attacks with a sword. Do escalating damage. Slay an enemy under the effect of Clash of Champions. Restores 100 stamina. See, I kind of want, I kind of want my, my greatsword points back. What is this? Ferocious strength power attacks with two-handed increases. Yeah, okay, I do want that. I kind of want those points back. I get a permanent what with Wandering Warrior? I don't see no Wandering Warrior. And one-handed. Whenever I defeat at least four humans in a single battle, I gain a permanent plus 1% bonus to one-handed damage. This, is, this effect stacks up to 20%. Huh. So I slowly build up to plus 20% permanent damage. I still think two-handed deals far more damage. Regardless. Um... One-handed deals more damage, uh, deals more DPS. Well, that's not a huge surprise. One-handed has always been more DPS. But if you can one-shot something with a two-handed weapon, a one-handed attack uh, isn't going to one-shot them necessarily. Because the DPS... The DPS is dependent on multiple attacks during the same period of time. So you don't get a one-shot. You'll have like a two- or a three-shot. Yeah, that's definitely how it how it sounds in the skill tree as well, Eternal. More of an Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, sit. Thank you. The effect for that vampire ring is weird. It's got like red that's like shooting from the Oh my god. I bet they would. Hello? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna break my rule once for this. I'm gonna go back and get my heavy armor and heavy and two-handed weapon. And carry them with me. That way I can switch over if I need to. But I'm gonna I'm gonna break my fast travel rule to go do that. Cause I'm afraid I'm gonna get 
horn. I'm afraid the game's going to throw like three centurions at me at the same time. And I can't handle that in, in light armor like this right now. But if I come get my heavy armor... I'm not really... I, I don't see it as cheating because... I mean, the game lets you do it, but regardless, um, I'm going to try to do light armor through most of it. Hey, there. Hey, how are you? All right, let's take all of that. Plus, this is really going to screw my carry weight. Like Wolthrad. Wool, Wolthrad. Blah, 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 blah. Let's drop off some of this dwarven steel. Uh, do, 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 do. Drop all of that off. We'll drop off the dragon bone. Uh, drop off the leather. Leather can get pretty heavy. Amethyst. Not that amethysts are going to be heavy. What are you saying? The issue being that the game scales based on your character level. If I got that far in Smithing Restoration and Delusion, you're still going to face the same enemies as a brain-dead barbarian that only knows how to hit people with an axe. Yeah, that's a good point. Just walk around here like a moron. Alright, cool. Now she's good. Oh, I can put away a few potions. Okay. I put those in the wrong place, but it's too late. We'll worry about it later. Wuthrad is in there. Sure grip, sure grip. Okay. We'll go like this. Where was that place? It was this? Ruins of Bethalft. Yeah, we're gonna travel back there. Okay. So we'll continue with light armor and one-handed shield. Uh, and then if I just if I just can't... Uh, the game starts throwing insane stuff at me, I'll switch to heavy armor and two-handed. And just murder stuff. Mm. Nah, she looks too good in Dwarven. I'm not going to give her my ebony. She won't use my two-handed axe. She doesn't she doesn't like two-handed weapons. She prefers one-handed. She would use my armor though. I get the feeling she might not use the helmet cuz the helmet's stolen, but I don't know. Oh, that's right. We needed to do this. Had to try yeah man I had to shout at it to see if it would see if that would work
Well, don't hold back. Spit it out, lady. Almost like what? Auto saving. I don't like that. Is that the forge? <coughs> Let's clear out the steam so we can take a look. No, I I kind of remember this. So I think I've been here before. What's up here? That won't open. Maybe it opens later. I was hoping we'd find this. Wait, was that ore? Hey, yeah, all right. I one shot the forge master. I almost can't believe it. We did it. We actually did it. There's only one thing left to do. We have to prove this actually works, that this is the real Ethereum forge. He was low already. Oh, I didn't see how much health he had. I just know I walked up to him and went boop and he just died. Oh, God. I'm forging something, of course. Go ahead. After everything you've done, you should do the honors. Like 20... Okay, so I did 25% in one hit. That's still pretty good. That means I would have four-shot him. At, le at most. Is there? Damn it. Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. The shards we collected. They're pure ethereum, remember? It's not much, but it'll do. With them and the materials in this room, we should have everything we need. I don't 
know. I honestly don't know. After all these years, it's a miracle even this much survived. Make it count. This may be the only chance we ever get to use the forge. All right, anyway, let's go back. That, honestly, if, if it was only 25%, that was also without me using my, um, uh, my, all my sure grip stuff. So my sure grip might have actually dealt, with the sure grip, it might have actually dealt even more damage. Oh, this is where all the bad guys came from. Trying to make sure there's no chest up here with, uh, with stuff in it. Oh. Alright, first things first. Let's loot these guys. What are soul gems? Soul gems are used to um, apply uh, enchantment effects to armor or weapons. Use it? I can't do it here, but I can do it later. All right, so she seemed to think I could only use one. I could only use this once. Ethereal Crown retains the last standing stone ability you held, granting you the effects in addition to those of your current stone. That could be really useful, but it would replace my head slot. This shield. Enemies struck by the shield become a theor- Oh, that sucks. I mean, they won't deal damage to me, but I also can't deal damage to them. Ew. Summon a dwarven spider or spear for 60 seconds. Man, all these things are terrible. I guess I'll take the circlet for now. That crown. It's everything I could have hoped for. And with that, it's done. No one could possibly deny what we found now. I don't know. I honestly don't know. After all these years, it's a miracle even this much survive. I bet you there's enough in the game that you could, in theory, make all three. It's just extremely difficult to find, probably. For me, I've done what I set out to do. But you, take that out into the world. And if anyone asks, tell them what we discovered. Together. I've waited so long for this moment. We found it at last. Now, I think I can rest. Farewell, my friend, wherever your travels take you. 
Oof, she gone. All right, Lydia, let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, that's true, John. If there's not enough Ethereum in the world in Skyrim, there's a mod somewhere that gives you enough. What kind of video card did you get, Eternal? RTX 5600. I don't even know how that rates compared to NVIDIA anymore. I haven't kept up with ATI versus NVIDIA. It's because for the longest time it wasn't even close. I know they're much, much closer now, though. About a 2060. Okay, well that's that's equivalent to what I've got then. Yeah, that should be more than fine. Okay. Alright, what are we doing now? Finds Sacred Trials. Isn't Enthir in Solitude? Oh no, he was the dude over here. Okay. I gotcha. Well, I guess we'll keep going towards Iverstead. Okay, so here's a question. Is there anything in the game... I don't remember if I... That's the end of my question. Is there anything in the game? Um, is there anything in the game that will reset your perk points but not reset the level of the skill? Why is the bear glowing red? I'm wearing a vampiric ring. I was draining his life essence. Not vanilla. Well, I'm not playing vanilla. I'm playing SSE. With DLC. Oh, you, I would need a mod. Okay. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Can I help you with anything else? Onman is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onman knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. Yes, you see, the thing is, I'm not concerned with 
everyone's best interest. I find I'm only concerned with my own. I've already made it very clear that all of my trades are final. Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Onman gave up the first time I said no, but not you. All right, I'll tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. You following me? Yes. You're not very good at this, are you? Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. Mm -hmm. How vague. Find the staff for enter. It doesn't really tell me anything. Oh, it's in Movar's lair. Oh, that's why he doesn't like the way this guy is using it. I mean, that makes sense. I've already cleared out the layer though, so we should be good. Ugh. Intending to your hounds? Smell like a wet dog. Alright, see you in a little bit, Trika. Good to see you again. Stay safe. Oh, that's the dude I punched his face in. Well met, friend. How can I help you? Inside. Vampires. And spiders. I forgot spiders. I guess. I didn't stop to ask him. I know Movarth's not in here anymore because he's dead. <laughs> 